What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barnon 11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. Thought I'd show off a couple of the Oregon pyramids that I've been making lately, uh, make it a little bit more interesting for you to look at in case you just don't get too excited looking at my face. All right, guys, um, I officially have finished my sun gazing as of today. Um, it took two years and about two months, a little bit over two months, to finally get to the 45 minute mark. Now, um, I want to share this with people, but before I get into it a little bit, I want to tell people you cannot just stare at the sun at any time. If you do, you're going to injure your eyes. You have to know how to do it properly. So I'll give a little rundown like I always do because I want people to be safe. The only safe times that you can sun gaze where you're literally staring at the sun is the first and last hour of the day, either sunrise or sunset. And the ultimate best way to do it is barefoot in the sand or in dirt. You don't have to do that, but like I said, it's the best way to do it. Um, you start out at 10 seconds at the lowest point of the sun in the horizon. So in other words, just as it's rising or just as it's about to set. And you do 10 seconds and that's it. The next day you add another 10 seconds. So you'll go from 10 seconds to 20 and that's it. You'll add 10 seconds each time until you get to 45 minutes, and then you're done. Now, if you could do it every day, and uh, that'd be a miracle if you could, it would take you nine months. Well, it took me two years, because especially in the wintertime, especially when it's raining, uh, especially if uh, you have to work or something, it can make it take longer than it really has to. But as long as you stick with it, you're going to really get amazing results. I have other videos that actually talk about this. I'm not going to get into full details of this. All I can say is those of you who have been watching my channel for a while know that I've almost died from walking pneumonia five times in my life. I've had breathing problems all my life. And I actually, I still get them every now and then. Like I'll feel congested or because I have cats and I've always been allergic to cats, I'll, I'll feel that because some people say, you know, sometimes we hear you wheezing. No, you are right. Well, it only lasts for a little bit. But in two years... I have not been sick once. That may not seem like a big deal, but I've been sick all of my life. There hasn't been a year in my life where I haven't had a cold at least four or five times in a year. Since I've been sun gazing, and again, you got to do it properly, otherwise you're going to hurt yourself. I have not been sick once. And I really think, like some people are saying about my channel, how it's going in different directions, it's more spiritual, it's more uplifting. I could really say that when I got to the 40 minute mark and up, when I say your mind expands, it's amazing. Like I just, I feel, I, I wish I could describe it right now. I literally got home about 20 minutes ago. And as you could see, I'm not blind. So the whole thing of people saying, if you stare at the sun, you'll go blind is accurate, but not completely truthful. Because when you have in the sunrise or sunset, you have the ozone layer, you have the refraction of the sun against the angle of the earth at the lower points, the ozone layer refracts the harmful UV rays into outer space. That's why you could see I don't even have a tan. And like I said, I've been doing this for over two years. Um, basically, once you get to the 45 minute mark, all you have to do is for the next seven days in a row, you have to walk barefoot on the sand and you've basically charged yourself. Because basically you're getting the natural sun's energy, all the positive vitamins and energy from the sun, getting it directly into your eyes like a solar panel, sending the electricity to your brain, which is electrically charged. You don't have to believe in this. I mean, at this point, I'm honestly, I don't care if people don't want to believe in it. But those who want to research this, and I highly recommend you do, and you do it the right way, it is amazing. You become calmer. Um, you're not. You're still going to get angry. You'll still get depressed. You'll still have all those emotions, but you don't harp on them anymore. Um, you will recover from any kind of sickness or anything almost instantly. Like I've had in the two-year span, I've had two times where I thought I was going to get sick. One of them was lifting up a towel in the basement that was full of black mold, and I got a little fever that night. And I thought, oh, you know, you got a whole shot of black mold at you. You're going to be sick as people can die from that. And I felt perfectly fine. So I highly recommend people look into this. 
Now, I'm not going to sit here and say it cures diseases. I don't have any diseases, you know, knock on wood, so I can't say that. But I can say it does help your immune system. Like, unfortunately, I just changed the litter boxes about a couple of minutes ago. So just breathing in that ammonia, I feel a little congested, but it's not going to turn into anything. And that is amazing. We need to change our ways that we think about things. We need to stop thinking that everything that they teach us in the media is 100% accurate. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll put it this way. If that's what you want to believe, if you're comfortable with believing the very people who are caught lying all the time, that is your choice. I'm not just telling people, say, oh, well, look, Chris says he sun gazes, so, you know, I like him. He seems to be honest. He seems to be genuine. I'm going to go do it. I want you to research it. I want you to look into it. I want you to know what you're doing. Look at the videos I've done. Look at other videos. Make sure you research things. Because when I started sun gazing, it took three or four different people that I trusted to one day actually mention sun gazing, that they did it before I even considered it. Then I looked into it, and then I did it. I didn't just jump into it. But I promise you that if you do it the right way, that you are going to be so happy that you did. And the beautiful thing is, it doesn't cost you anything other than a trip to the beach. Now, um, if you don't live near the beach, you could do this in dirt. Um, it, there's other ways. Like I said, I have other videos, so I'm not going to get really involved into it. But the way it expands your mind, the way you feel so calm, and how tranquil you are when you're doing it, I actually felt sad today that this was it. I mean, this was two years of my life dedicated to going there, Sometimes early in the morning, I did a couple of sunrise, not many. And it doesn't matter. It's basically preference, sunrise or sunset. Um, I went in the wintertime. I remember standing out there. It was 20 degrees out. The wind was blowing. I had like four pairs of pants on and everything, and I still did it. So this was a big effort, and I am so happy that I did it. So I'm just going to end this video now. I'm going to keep it short, but I want you guys to look into it. If you have medical problems, especially things that they say they can't cure, it might be something you want to look into. Plus, like things like eating all alkaline foods and checking into organic hemp oil. we got to start getting back into nature if you feel that you're tired of what they're pushing on us, all those chemicals. Like for people with cancer, what do they do? They give you radiation. Well, there's a reason why people don't live in Chernobyl and why there's so many problems that are going on because of Fukushima, because radiation is poison. And for them to have people pay lots of money to inject themselves with poison, to me, that sounds crazy. So if people want to dismiss this and their normalcy bias is too strong, I'm not here to tell you what to do. But if you want to start finding alternative ways because you're sick and tired of the side effects of all the money that you got to spend, how doctors don't really care. They just want you in and out as fast as they can. They just want to write you some prescription where they got paid to sell it. And you want to start looking into more alternative things. This is something I highly recommend. And it's something I have been doing for the past two years. And today was the last day. I'm going to miss it. But um, if I had a chance to do it all over again, I totally would. I... I wish even my worst enemies out there would at least look into this because the only person you're hurting is yourself. And like I said, you're not, it's not going to make you all of a sudden Superman where you're going to all of a sudden, you know, somebody will shoot you and it'll bounce off you. Or if all of a sudden there's some sickness going around that you're just automatically immune to it. No, like I said, like I'm a little congested right now a little bit because like I said, with the litter box and all that ammonia, I have two cats. If you have cats, you understand that. But I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be make me sick, and probably in about another 20 minutes or so, I'll be perfectly fine. So your immune system, at least as far as mine is concerned, is amazing. You don't eat as much anymore. You tend to become wanting to become healthier because I drink a lot more water. I haven't drank soda in years. You know, I don't drink alcohol, except for the wedding. You know, I went to the wedding the other week. I had like three glasses of uh, amaretto and Sprite. So yes, if you want to consider that soda, Sprite, and alcohol, that's the first I've had in two years, and that was just for a special occasion. But you, your your mind expands, you think more clearly, your emotions are more grounded. So um, 
Well, like I said, I, I mean, I always ramble, so I said I was going to keep this relatively short. So 10 minutes for me is a Christmas miracle. So I'm going to leave it at that. So thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Check out my other videos. You can go to my um, uh, must-watch video section, and there'll be one where I was actually, you'll see me for 40 minutes straight actually looking at the sun. So make sure you do it the right way. Don't be foolish and just look up 12 o'clock in the afternoon, stare at the sun, and wonder why your eyes are damaged. Make sure you do it right. It's like anything. It's like if you have fire, you know how to use it, you can cook with it, you can keep yourself warm. But if you don't know how to use it, you can burn yourself or kill yourself. So be careful. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night, and I'd love to hear your comments. And like I said, if you don't want to believe in it, that's perfectly fine. I'm just here to sh share my wisdom, my experience with those willing to listen. So thanks, guys. Have a great night. Peace.